Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your March 2020 love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be focusing on love, but it can apply in other areas of your life. Take messages that only apply to your situation and that you resonate with. Leave the rest. I could be uh, coming from the perspective of a cross watcher, so roles can be vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards or the zodiac sign if they're called out. We all have masculine feminine energies within us and all zodiacs in our birth chart. So with that, we will get started. Good angels, what messages do we have for our Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for March 2020? I feel a lot of you are having a new beginning with the spring. Um, things are coming to fruition for you. New ideas are blossoming. Um, all right, your guys' first card out is the Page of Wands. So in the past, uh, you really communicated to somebody your true feelings. Put yourself out there. Um, in your current energy, you have the Nine of Cups. In your immediate future, you have the Five of Swords in reverse. In your current issue, you have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, your next card out is the Page of Cups. Your next card out is the Two of Cups. And your last card out. Wow, the Ace of Wands. Your guys has shared energy in the bottom of the deck that you may not be aware of is the Ace of Swords. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups and the Devil. Wow. Sagittarius, like I said, March is going to be a new beginning for you. Spring is here. You have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. The only thing you have missing is the Ace of Cups. So where is the love? All right, so we'll start out with your first card. In the past, like I said, you were putting yourself out there, telling somebody how you felt, wanting to move forward in a creative endeavor. Um, for some of you, you kind of put it all out on the line. Um, you put your heart out there. You let somebody know exactly how you felt in hopes to manifest um, a new beginning with them. For some reason, it almost feels like they have their back turned towards you, though. Um, you're sitting here professing your feelings, and they're out. They're looking out into, you know, the horizon. Um, there is a lot of feelings here. Uh, this... This could be like another cycle for you. This could be your third cycle, your third go around with this person for some of you. But it's like the love has always been there no matter what. And that's because there is a strong, strong connection here. But somebody, it's like a fight over control. Somebody's having a hard time allowing um, the situation to not be fully in their control. It could be a fight for control in the connection. Um, in your present energy, you have the Nine of Cups. So somebody, for one, your prayers have been answered, but I do feel somebody is overindulging. Somebody is um, numbing their feelings. Could be with the use of drugs or alcohol. Um, some sort of addiction or unhealthy vice is here uh, with the devil there um, in your shared energy. 
Um, let's see, why is the Nine of Cups here? Tell me more. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Tell me more. All right, the Five of Wands. So there's there's too many opinions, too many people. There's somebody that's affecting this person's decision. There's somebody who um, is listening to outside um, opinions, not moving forward with their feelings, um, hiding how they truly feel, keeping themselves from what truly makes them happy because of the fight they would have to go through to get, you know, where they want, what they want. Um, this could be family that's standing in the way, but no matter what, this person is wanting to come towards you, Sagittarius, but there are people that are blocking you guys. There's just too many people in the relationship and too many blocks in the way at the moment. In your immediate future, you have the five of swords in reverse. So not walking away from a situation that is hurtful. Somebody is very controlling. Somebody is manipulative. Um, and it's affecting your stability. Um, somebody that you are connected with, or this could be you, um, is not walking away from a home situation because of their stability, not wanting to lose that stability. And the truth is coming forward and, it, and it's going to hurt you or them. They could be refusing to leave a situation where they share a home with somebody else. And you're coming in telling the truth and cutting this person out of your uh, your life. The bottom of the deck was a queen of swords. So you could be ending a relationship if you were the third party, Sagittarius. Um, or they could be with you. The the personal issue or the you know the the uh, pressing issue here is you're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting an opportunity you see the potential that this relationship has you're wanting a big offer you're wanting to move this into something tangible into something real something that's you know that you can count on that you can grow with that you can build from and you're wondering if it's ever coming uh why is this ace of pentacles an issue why is this ace of pentacles an issue yeah, somebody's overthinking it. Somebody's not moving forward making this offer because they're stuck in their thoughts. They're acting cold. They're acting aloof. They're not taking action. They're sitting there thinking about it, and they're overthinking it to death. Um, the queen of, or the king of swords needs to take action, um, but instead they're just sitting there thinking and thinking and thinking about making this offer, and they're letting the stress, the anxiety, the you know the the thoughts take over um, their reality. Uh, they could need to cut somebody out of their life and they don't know who it is or who they want to cut out of their life. But somebody's got to go in order for this offer to be made, in order for this to become stable and, and tangible. The feelings and attitude of the person you're dealing with are the page of cups. They do have love for you. They do have feelings for you. They do want to offer you something. But you're coming in as the emperor and they're coming in as the page. Um, it could be kind of a superficial offer just to kind of keep you on a string here. Yeah, and they're wanting to move forward with you, though. They could be needing to move away from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, but they're wanting to move forward towards you. Um, they could have a choice between you and a Cancer with a two um, there, but... They know it's going to be a fight to get out of this other connection. If there is another connection, if there isn't a third party or if you're not the third party, then this is them getting over their fear. This is them getting over the block that they're putting in their own life. Um, but for the majority of you, I do feel this is a third party because the bottom of the deck is the two of swords, a decision needing to be made. Uh, So the possible obstacles here is the two of cups. There is true love. This is a soulmate, but the obstacle is somebody here is married. Somebody here is already in a commitment. So it's hard for them to follow their heart. It's hard for them to get into this connection with you, even though they feel you are a soulmate of theirs, because there is the Hierophant there with the Ten of Swords. It has to be put down. It has to be um, let go of, and they're having a hard time doing that. 
the potential outcome for this connection is the Ace of Wands, having a new idea, a new opportunity to move forward, um, seeing a way to move this connection into reality and not just what feels like, uh, you know, just an illusion right now. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. So you're going to have an idea that's going to bring you two together. That's going to be able to build this family, to bring in a blended family, to move forward successfully. Um, it's also, for some of you, you're deciding to move forward alone, single, moving away from this connection, finding success and wealth and happiness and creativity after you walk away because this situation has become burdensome. If you're waiting for them to get out of a marriage or a commitment, it is becoming way too heavy. And you're starting to wonder if it's worth um, the heartache that you're experiencing. Um, the shared energy between the two of you is the Ace of Swords. The truth is coming out. Um, somebody is going to come out of the confusion, out of the fog, um, going through an awakening for some of you. What's this truth being spoken? This ha relationship has become toxic in a way because of the back and forth, the juggling. It's turned into a cycle after cycle after cycle. And the truth, somebody's coming out of confusion about this cycle and putting it to an end, walking away from the toxicity, walking away from the manip manipulation, the uh, walking away from the person that has the over overdrive to have control. Um, you felt like you've been bonded to this connection that you felt like it had to work out and you're finally seeing the truth of things that You'll be okay if you want to walk away Clarify this uh, devil and eight of cups, please help me understand this devil and eight of cups Thank you queen of swords. Yep cutting out of this connection taking action However, we do have the king and queen of swords here. So this is a soulmate energy But that doesn't mean you have to stay together Sometimes you have to leave, you have to walk away in order for them to see your value. And I do see for some of you, you're exiting very quickly um, once you come out of this confusion. For others of you, your person is coming out of confusion, getting their life into balance, walking away from a toxic connection that they are in outside of you, um, getting that divorce that is needed and coming towards their Sagittarius where they feel, wow, the next two cards out, are both cards of Sagittarius. Things are changing very quickly. Um, for some of you, this is a reunion. Um, uh, if you're in the Twin Flame journey, most definitely the turn the wheel is turning in your favor and the two of you are coming into a uh, reunion in March, moving forward together, leaving the bullshit behind, leaving the heartache, the baggage, all the people that are in your business. Um, you're leaving it all behind. So I do see this going both ways. Sagittarius, if you're needing a personal reading to clarify um, more personally, go ahead and hit up my description box. All right, yeah, but something's got to blow up first. Something's going to shake up here in March, um, whether it be in your life or theirs. I feel some of you are taking a stand for yourself, no longer allowing the energy uh, of not being appreciated, um, being taken for granted that you'll always be there. That they can take their sweet ass time coming in with an offer no more yeah you're tired of being the third party things are being illuminated in your life you are standing up for yourself you know you're the empress and they're going to come running back when you stand that ground um so be patient heal take a rest because this person is getting a new perspective on the situation um and by you walking away from them for some of you it is breaking their heart for some of you, this is the heartache that your person is feeling from having to walk away from their other situation because there is a divorce here or a legal separation. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo, Libra. Oh, we got every sign out here. But this relationship is going to take work. Um, and I feel it is happening in this moon phase at the end of February. It's starting. The ball is rolling. But I do feel that both of you are going to take a leap of faith, whether that be together or separate. Um, it is coming together in the way it's meant to be. Some of you are coming together with this person. Some of you are walking away from this person. And right around the corner um, comes in a past life soulmate that's going to bring in the happily ever after for a lot of you and putting an end to this toxic cycle one way or another, whether that be with 
this person or somebody new. You do have love and happiness and prosperity coming in for you and success, Sagittarius. March, like I said in the beginning, is looking very beautiful for you guys. So I hope you have a beautiful month. Like I said, if you need um, a little more clarification uh, that's more attuned to your situation, uh, hit me up for a personal reading. I would love to read the cards for you. I will see you guys next time. Much love.